Shut up. You should do shit that you can't do. Man, shut the fuck up, nigga. No, shit. you shut the fuck up. Yeah. Motherfucker. That shit caught. He was back like an extra 50. Yeah. Zip line is like an extra 50. Man, I don't need to do all that. Nigga, but you're going to have a good time. Motherfucker, I'm just getting my car back. You, I'm just sitting around that. You think I'm going to go blow more money? <laughs> nigga, you be a cheat for no fucking reason. How the fuck am I being a cheat if I'm going to spend close Because you're on vacation. Nigga, you've also going to blow your money. Man, no the fuck you don't. Do you? <sighs> Besides, I'm going with people I really don't even fuck with on the regular. <laughs> we don't lie. Okay, let's see. <laughs> this nigga go on vacation this week. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up, people? It's three the hard way. Sean in the building. It's James in the building, man. Coming real quick. You know what I'm saying? On a good Tuesday. A good Tuesday. Don't just see the where, where you, uh, where you going on vacation to, my guy? Uh, Pigeon. Forge. This nigga don't want to go zip lining, horseback riding. Man, I don't know till I get that nigga. I ain't even in the mood. Shit. Who goes on vacation to do nothing? Motherfucker, that's how I ain't doing nothing. I just said right now I'm not in the mood. I might get in the mood when I get there. Shit. Nigga, you should just be excited about going and getting the mood all night. I ain't never fucking excited about that shit. Who not excited about getting the... F- not working. Being on vacation. That don't excite me like everybody else. You know what I'm Hey, disclaimer, y'all. When I say stuff, it's not for everybody. Everybody ain't gonna understand me. Especially this motherfucker right here. Get all upset in his feelings. I cutting, don't understand. Cutting podcasts off early and shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's three the hard way coming at you. So, hey, don't mind him. Um, Besides, I told you before, you know what I'm saying? That, no, that I, don't, I understand. I want you to enjoy yourself, man. Nigga, nigga, I don't want to enjoy myself. See, don't, I always enjoy myself. I messed up by going in tonight, but I'm all good. Okay. I know you sent that, but which so so which should I think? So what you think about the gas prices? Let's go with that. God damn. Hey, shit, it's, it's sensitive to me, nigga. Yeah, I drive a big ass Yukon, nigga. <clears throat> I'm sensitive, shit. You got <coughs> spinning around like both the guys, motherfucker, nigga. So I get off work yesterday. I get off work yesterday. My cousin, her car is having an issue, but she worked with the mentally ill. She had to take one of her clients to an appointment. Right, my my tech was on a half. I just filled it up after I left your house Sunday. Well, no, I put 60 in after I left your house Sunday, right? I'm going to have. Now, from my house to my work, nigga, I could probably really walk there in probably about 30 minutes. So the drive is only five, seven minutes. So I don't use no gas like that. Nigga, I can't even look at my take after she drove that car. That bitch is on a quarter, nigga. I'm going to hold on, motherfucker. <laughs> hold on. I'll show you, you know. Put some gas back in this bitch. So I'm going to take to fill it up completely. So right now I'm at like 112, 110. Ooh. For one full tank? Yeah. God damn. Well, yeah. But as long as I, long as I stay my ass out in my neck of the woods, I don't be driving my ass all over, I can use that tank for about a week, a week and a half. Mm. But, you know, two weeks if I'm really, even if I'm really being easy. Yeah, back at home. Yeah, just, you know, just standing in my way. But, you know, these damn kids, football is about to start, and you got vacation coming up and all that, so how much it cost to fill up the caddy? Shit, I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know. So I, I, you I know the one time. So you and then you just jump in the other one? Well, I put some money in, but I think the one time it took me about, from empty, that was, that was, back, it was like 70. But it might be more than that, because they both take premium. Yeah. So... Then your premium is like five twenty nine right now. Yeah, so I know the Camaro. Uh, one time I filled it was like sixty six. That fourteen gallons. Shit, I think so. I I was looking at the gas price. I wouldn't even care about that damn gallon. But I try not to put them. I try to fill them up before they get to eat. Oh yeah, I like so, I like to fill up my shit when they get a uh, quarter. Yeah, quarter. Mm-hmm. I let like the uh, Cali <laughs> the needle be messing up. So I the needle because uh, I know I put in. I put it about, but shit, so thirty five dollars. I think it got me back to. You know what be? You know what been fucking me too with these gas prices? Because I be thinking that you know, 
I'll be trying to wait to like see if it's going to Yeah. Or somebody go spend some money at Kroger's. Man. Do you shop at Kroger's? Yeah, I shop everywhere. Well, I'm saying, you know the motherfucking fuel points add up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no cap. Yeah, um, but, but no. Gas prices are motherfucker. Food prices are a motherfucker. Our money ain't going up. I know. Everything else is costing us more money. Um, cost of living itself, rent, everything going up. Yeah, everything is going up. It's time to like start selling ass or something because this shit is not working. Yeah. But um, I feel sorry for my fucking uh, 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 full family and and get that much money coming in and stuff like that. By this time, you probably do need a two parent family because goddamn single parent right now. Oh my god. I could imagine being a single parent in this. In this Sean, what are you saying that to me? All the topics. Shit to you. No, but you, I'm saying what you. What, what, to just you. Okay. So look, let me show that. This three hard ways still coming. You know what I'm saying? Here, let me do this shit, man. Yeah, just for it to me. What do you think about the NBA finals or NBA Eastern Conference West Coast finals? It's good. Yeah. I, I'm not a Golden State. I'm not a Golden State uh, fan at all. Why not? I've never been a Golden State fan. Um, first so, of all, I got two reasons. A black man built that team. Who? Who? Oh, you talking about Mark Jackson? Yeah, Mark Jackson built that team from ground zero, and they gave that team to Steve Kerr. Why but, did they? Why did they even get away from Mark Jackson? Because Mark Jackson wasn't. He didn't. He he was talking too much oh, like okay. he they didn't like that he was outspoken as much as he was okay and they just couldn't make him do what he so they needed a puppet yeah okay but then he wins with the exact same team that he built so he takes them all he builds up this whole team gets them to the playoffs and then takes them that next year and they win a the championship yeah so my thing is so uh, how, how important is a coach because people put a lot of emphasis on hey, somebody's a great did you play coach. sports yeah, but I not for a long time. I think a, a coach, like man, a coach to me is like a a big uncle, you know, like a father figure, somebody that's a coach that's really good. And then you know, what I'm saying they look at you like does I motivate just, you or something. Yeah. Okay. A coach can definitely give you a different insight, push you to a, a different level. You know, what I'm saying some. You know, you ever been like I remember. I remember it. we all hated running suicides. Or stairs where it man, some coaches can push you to that point. It was past throw up, it's past passing out, but he just kept pushing you to so that like point. A, something like a personal training, right? Well, yeah, kind of. Yeah, but it's just like I think like a lot of coaches are you know, for especially for some like me is you know my pops came in my life a little bit later, mm. so some of the coaches that I had were good father figures to me, mm. or what I thought a dad was. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is like I get that. But like you said, he, uh, Steve Curry inherited a good ass team, right? So, is is they success is based off of him, or they was already still to be successful anyways? So I was asked, well, like, like, but Mark, this is what I'm saying, like, so really think about it. Steve, uh, Curry comes from Davidson. Yeah. They said what he was too small for the NBA, bad ankles, bad shot, too. Yeah. Motherfucker, I asked your punk ass why I was right over there. Did you want to water? Watch your motherfucking mouth. My, my, my voice harsh. I'm trying to speak up for them. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Shit. What's wrong with you? You try to Now go ahead with the motherfucking bad ass. Don't worry about the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> but they said all this shit about Steph Curry. You didn't hear about Clay Thompson in college. The only reason why you heard of um, Draymond yeah. is because his team won a national championship. But all these people that he put in place, Harrison Barnes, none of these people were known about. He got all these people, put them on together, and built that. Built that whole dynasty ready to go. And then, because he gets outspoken, they take it away from him. And blackballed him. He has not got another coaching job since. I know. He's, you know, look at Steve Nash. Steve Nash has never been a coach. I know. He could have had the, the Nets, you know, in, in, any of these teams. 
shit, Sacramento Kings could have fucking get him. They went to go get Mike Brown. Mike Brown is a fucking. There's some coaches that I think are just puppets. Like this is the very first year I give Eric Spoelstra any kind of credit, and it's still hard for me to give him any kind of credit because but of that's, what he has. But that's what I'm just saying. Like I think all right, coach that important because if you ain't most time because without have a super two uh, super all stars, they fail. I, when have you ever seen a coach that take uh, actually nobody and go farther or win the championship? Right. But this is what I'm saying. I don't, like, if you're coaching LeBron, I think LeBron does a lot of his own coaching. There's a lot of his own politics behind the scene. But so that's what I'm asking. How, how very important is a coach? Because, like I said, you can take any top coach, right? Even, let's take Phil Jackson. They say, oh, I don't, the, well, I'm saying though, people are like, oh, he the best coach or whatever. Was it? Without, without a superstar, because he didn't win shit before Michael. He ain't had no championship before Michael. He started with Michael. What I'm saying is, he was first coach of y'all. What I'm saying, he was coaching before, but not. He wasn't a successful coach until he coached the Bulls. That was his first coach of y'all. Yeah, that was but his first what, coach of y'all, right? But, but they saying that well, he, this is started. They like Michael would never won without Phil. Phil ain't never had shit. But think about it. So, like, the whole program that Phil ran for, the the offense that he set up for Michael, would wouldn't have been set up by other coaches. Yeah, it would because that wasn't even Phil. That was Tex Winter. The, the, tri- the, the triangle offense wasn't even Phil Jackson. It was, it was a guy called Tex Winter. That was his offense. But nobody was running besides who? No, well, but it got implemented. It probably got implemented with a different coach. But then wasn't that dude from college oh. that you're talking about? Uh-uh. But what was he a coach of? I don't, I don't remember. But his name was. But what I'm saying, even like let's go back uh, to Golden State, when the stars was out, then the playoffs. Yeah. Yeah. So most coaches ain't really good unless you got, you know, your team set up and you got all stars like, there. Well, when Mike was gone, he still took his team to the Eastern Conference Finals. Just mm-hmm. lost. But that team, that team was already set and it was it was already handed to Keys. So they know what to do. I just think like I think certain coaches can deal with certain personalities and make them understand how to work together. Because I think a lot of NBA people, you know, I, hold on, let's go back to what you just said. They went to the, the Eastern Conference Finals and lost, right? Yeah. What they do the year after that? He left. No, he did. Yes, he did. He went. To Phil didn't leave. Phil did leave. No, the fuck he did. They went to East Coast Finals in '94. Uh, Jordan came back in '95. Did yeah. one that okay, well, he didn't leave. Talk, well, uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, you're right. I was thinking about when, uh, when he went to the Lakers. That was in '98. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, you said they went in '94, but see, they ain't go back. I wasn't talking. I didn't say a year, but you. Could. No, what I'm saying, they had a bad year, and then Michael came back the last 17 games. You see what I'm saying? If he was a coach, then they had to touch in '94. And then they start losing. Well, no, the year that Michael left, they went to the Eastern Conference Finals. In 94, I just said okay. that. But the next year, they was losing. That's when uh, Scotty was out that whole year. It was a bad problem. No, that wasn't a year. Yes, it was. Oh, when? Oh, when? We're not going to uh, It was 98. He was out of Muscle City with a back problem. So, in 95, what was the issue? The issue was they was losing. Then Michael came back for like the last 17 games. And then they made a push to get to the playoffs. AC. And then they end up uh, losing against Orlando. In the Eastern Conference? Yeah. So they went back to back Eastern Conference Finals? No, they go back. Uh, they lost, I think, in the second round or something. Uh, Joe got his uh, the ball stolen and stuff. But what I'm saying is, before he got back, they was losing. Then they got a push when Jordan got back. I, I'm just saying, like, I believe certain. Players are probably uncoachable because of their ego is so big and they they even so big in the game. Um, like when you see the last dance, yeah. Like when you know, what I'm saying I think Jordan did a lot of the on floor coaching. Of course, um, he puts them in practice every fucking time. Right, but the overall program that we run in it feels. Yeah, but but because this is why this is why I gotta give this man credit, right? Oh. When Jordan gives this man credit, when no. Shaq, hold on, hold on, when oh, Shaq yeah. gives this man credit, and Kobe says this is the best coach I have ever had, when these people are all legends I, of the game, 
this, I'm not knocking none of that. I, I'm not even talking about field in general. I'm talking about coaches itself. I said some coaches don't do shit. No, but what I'm saying is a lot of coaches are great when they got superstars. Oh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I know, know, uh, know. Uh, Luke Walton. Yeah. What about Like when he had the Lakers. The Lakers, Lakers, yeah. And then they gave him that big ass contract in Sacramento. Where are you at now? <laughs> no. You were Frank Vogel. I think yeah. Frank, no, I think Frank Vogel is a good coach, good defensive coach. I think his offense is horrible. You, you know what? Watch this show. It's uh, the, it's on HBO. It's called the Winning, Winning something. It's about the Lakers of the eighties. Oh, you talking about the documentary, Magic Jones? Well, it's not a documentary; it's a TV show. Okay. But it's the show is bomb as hell, bomb as hell. Like it got ten episodes. I think I binge watched it in two days. Like that's how good the show is. Um, but it shows the difference between three coaches. Jerry Buss, uh, this crazy motherfucker from... Jerry Buss, that's all right. No, well, uh, Jerry West, I'm sorry. Jerry West was a coach. Then this crazy was dude... Was he a coach? I, I thought yeah, he, he was a coach. Oh, was he? I know he was... He was uh, a player, too, but... I know he was a player, but I thought he was, like, up and bench because I know he didn't want to put uh, go State together. Yeah, but this... You gotta wow. scribble back a little bit. Okay. So Jerry, Jerry West, West, Jerry West was a coach. The NBA logo. He didn't want Magic. He didn't want to draft Magic Johnson at all. He didn't. No, he said Magic Johnson should be a power forward. Um, no guard should be that tall. Oh, six nine guard. Right. Blah blah. blah. So when Bus bought the team, he's like, I'm drafting. I'm drafting him regardless of what you say. Mm-hmm. You know, he's he's what I need for a showtime. He's what I need to make basketball good. Oh yeah. So. Jay West quits. Anyway, so they bring this dude in from Portland, uh, assistant with no name, but his formula is just so good. Like his, all his plays and shit is so good. But he has like no type of kind of people skills. But he's a numbers guy. He gets fucked up in an accident. His assistant takes over. They start winning. Mm-hmm. So uh, his assistant was like a no name coach as well. And he won rookie year with Magic because Magic won. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So like, some coaches you can buy into. Like, I don't like Billichek, but I think Billichek is one of them coaches that you like. Okay, Tony Dungy. But hold on though, let's go with Billichek, right? I just said I don't like him. No, 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 I get it. But let's let's, let's, but let's go with him though. Let's go with him though, right? So he ain't got Tom Brady no more, right? And then he went with Cam Newton, and they wasn't really winning. But this, but if mm-hmm. he, okay, remember Jimmy Grapple? Yeah, I remember. Okay, he didn't change his formula. His formula was ten yards of dunk, ten yards of dunk. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alex Smith, where all these quarterbacks were no names. Brady gets hurt, ten yards of dunk. They keep the same formula. Mm-hmm. We don't need you to throw the ball forty yards. Ten yards of dunk. We don't let them move the ball that way, and it worked. Yeah, but the Jimmy Grappo leaves there, gets a huge ass contract. Alex Smith leaves there, gets a huge ass contract. Yeah, but, but but I get that. But what are they doing? Like when Tom Brady left, left uh, uh, New England, right? He won without Bill Cat. But he won with a stacked ass team. <laughs> but what I'm saying, though, like this is okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't care about all that. But did he win without his coach? They're supposed to be a famous coach. Yes or no? Yes. So you worry about the team. We would have won with that team, nigga. Come on, man. Listen, I just said Sam Hike and did that. We know when Tom Brady's playing, we expect him to go farther in the playoffs. Nigga, did you see? Just nail this man the defense. Who the fuck was going to score on that team? I don't care. Whatever I, Tom Brady playing, we expect him to win. Are you a Brady fan? No. I don't even like Brady. But when you put Brady on the team, who the fuck expect him to win? <laughs> Come on, now. Be honest with me. Everybody expect him to win. When I don't think Brady. Brady. Hey. Come on, man. Quit lying. Hey. When you see fucking Brady. I expect a nigga to cheat. Come on, man. That's what I expect. You ask me what. I when, expect him to when, cheat. When it comes to certain people, when you see them play, you expect them to win. When Michael played, you expect them to win no, no matter what. I wanted, that's Michael, right. I wanted Every time I see Magic versus Michael, I was like, yep. That nigga getting killed. Man, whatever. He, he getting killed. Who getting killed? Michael was getting killed by Magic. Uh, I think he beat Mag- uh, Magic in the finals. For what? And so Michael beat and Magic beat him too. Not in the finals. Not in the finals. You're not lying. Okay, what year was that? Ninety one. 
The first championship, they beat Magic in in on, so, in ninety two was Dream Team and didn't retire because of the AIDS. Yeah, the, my they man, never man, played man, in the finals. Man, he got AIDS, so. I know what we talk about. I talked to somebody uh, the other day about that shit. Yeah, because yeah, he, he got that he got diagnosed with AIDS. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, now years later, I think some years they come he he was donating blood. Like how this motherfucker got AIDS, but he donating blood. <laughs> To the Red Cross. No, don't say that. Don't put that out there. I swear. I said, don't put that out there. I'm a... No, I'm, I'm not saying. I'm <laughs> saying. Look it up. He probably, it was like he donated blood years ago. I donated blood. This is what I had. He full, not full blown, but he had, uh, you know what I'm saying, HIV yeah. in the 90s. None of his kids got it. Wife never got it. You never had She a stayed in every fucking time. No time. woman has ever came out and said that she got so it. what I'm saying. He, he got diagnosed you know. with the motherfucker. Fast forward in 2000, he, 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 he donated blood. This motherfucker healthier than me. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? But anywho, <laughs> did you say the topics? Cause, uh, did you say the topics? No, we we talking. Okay, what's your, what's your mind about? Because I don't know. I mean, I got topics. I uh, mean, I'm, I'm getting the topics. But yeah, see, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, you motherfucker, I'm like, that. this nigga had AIDS. But in a certain, like, all right, I, I think coaches can develop you. I, I think it's hard for a coach to develop somebody once they're a pro. Like, once they're a certain type of pro. When you get to that LeBron level, like, they call him, uh, what they call it, Ola Jime, uh, like, L, L-E-G-M, because he goes yeah. behind the scenes and pulls so many strings. But, so, see, but, but listen, what they say. Are you he, really coaching him? He, no, because they, they said he never really had a great coach, and look what he done in his career. Right, I think I. But uh, come on now, they say he never had a great coach, but look what he done. Now they say, well, if he got a great coach, then he would did better. I, I think, think his great know. coaches was the motherfuckers that he had from AAU and high school that was on his ass. But what I'm saying is, uh, so how important is uh, really a great coach? Really, I think it's just somebody just there, listen to your team, see what they need, put the best team out there, probably a little strategy or something. But you don't have to be a great coach to go farther and win a championship. That's just me. I, I think you. I think you do. No, you don't. Because man, just think about it. you have to be in the, the personalities alone is an asshole. <coughs> I'm talking about that. I'm talking about that. What you dealing with? You ain't really you. Look at uh uh uh. Look at Cleveland Swiss coach that met a, a season and won. What up, Josh? Or oh, oh, Eric Foster. Uh, MJ beats Magic. No, his wife does not have AIDS, Josh. You know what I'm saying? They all HIV free. So what I'm saying is, uh, 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 yeah. yeah, he's a big Michael fan. So yeah, you was right about that. So, I'm, 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 is you a woman? What? The fuck that's, that's some woman type shit. What? Did I win all the time? You don't always win, motherfucker. Well, well tell me when you have won. Right now, you ain't winning like your Camaro sitting up. You losing right now. Well, I'm not losing. That motherfucker be ready yeah. in the morning. So that motherfucker's great. <laughs> so what the you talking about? So I'm a woman because I'm winning all the time. I'm, I'm, just, saying, I'm just saying, I think My certain man. coaches, like you take that young Warriors team and give them a terrible coach, they don't develop to what they are now. So first of all, Mark Jackson was the one that hit them with that whip, got them in order, and got them knowing how to play that style that they play. Man. Period. They were going to come through because what's his name was clowning and Davidson. And he was gonna find a way to clown and go stay, which he that's did. That's not true. Look at his brother. His brother was better in high school and better in college than he was. That don't mean shit. But his brother is not the athlete he is now. Okay, put him with a good ass. Put him with a good ass. Let's, hold on, let's take a logic. So Michael growing up, his brother was better than him. I'm not talking about Michael. We're talking oh, about, but I'm just talking about the little white skinned nigga. I'm just saying though. Michael, had, know, Michael had Michael just had a great ass work ethic. That's what? it. He had a different type oh, of work. He, they was, it was documented that his brother was better than him, and he wanted his dad affection. That's why he became great. Mike, but, I did the, what his work that? ethic, nigga, like uh, fuck, who, who's the base? King Griffey. He had he he wanted to be the best black baseball player. That's what he said. He wanted to be the best black black black. black, black. So he chased Jackie yeah. Robinson. Which is a thing that you can never win. He knew he could never be better than Jackie Robinson. Well, did he become better than his dad? Yeah, he came better than his dad. And there you go. Most most great players. But he wasn't chasing his daddy. 
I know that, but most great players, let's say it's a work ethic. No, but most most players, most players when they a dad play in the sport, they normally if they dad's a superstar, the players normally ain't that good. If the dad is good, the players don't become a superstar. You see what I'm saying? Kobe Bryant. His daddy wasn't good. Uh, uh, Clay Thompson. His, uh, Steph Curry. His dad, Clay Thompson's daddy was good. I, I, what I just said, if his dad good, the kids become superstars. Dale Curry was mediocre. Okay, but his dad was good to get to the NBA, so he was good. The, kid, the kids become superstar. But if the, if the dad is a superstar, the kids don't, don't do that. Like Michael Jordan's son was terrible. What I just said, you hear me out. You just listen. If the if the dad is a superstar, the kids normally don't do good. Even even uh, Kobe Bryant, his well, dad was okay. Me, he was good enough to so play. So what's LeBron's son? He ain't gonna be good. She is. He's not. She is. Nigga, do you do you watch his highlights? You watch his game. They tell my he ain't nigga gonna be a monster. They tell my he ain't gonna be a top recruit. This a Garrett. She is. Now who kids might be a motherfucker top recruit? Is Master P. Hell no! Come on, man, you tripping? They they good. They LeBron good. Come on, man, Bronny ain't gonna do it. I, I, I put a bet on. I, I, look, I put, look, 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 there's, there's a couple kids coming out. Uh, these kids, these wow. NBA players. D Wade son is nice. Yeah, Zaire. Um, Shaq son is gonna be nice. And his daughter, Jason Williams, white chocolate. Hold up. His son is the motherfucking Hold beast. Up. Answer this question. I, I ain't talking about that. Answer this question. Name a superstar that was a superstar and their kids was on a level of superstar. Then. Nobody. King Griffey? No, his dad was good, but King Griffey Jr. became higher than his dad. Yeah, but he was his, his daddy was an all-star player. I'm he was a sure. home run king. Listen. So how is that not being that's good? I, I'm talking about good, but he wasn't a superstar. King Griffey Sr. name went all in the goddamn everybody in a room and everything King Griffey Jr. name was. Because the game got more popular as it was well, in the era too, though. No, no. If, if you had popular uh, uh, people back when he played, he was there. Come on now. You tripping. You tripping. Superstars. That I'm saying well no name. He was an all-star player. I'm not. Home run king. He's been on an MVP ballot, so he had to be a all, he had to be a great player. To just I'm be not there. saying he was a good player, but he wasn't up there with like Alex Pujols or. Oh uh, 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 no! I mean, okay, that's that's, a, that's superstar. Then. I'm talking about who the fuck was a superstar back then when he was a superstar? Who? Uh, 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 there's a lot of them. Uh, what's the who the dude that used to stood the belt? Uh, stood stood all the belt. Um, the plates. Uh, 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 man, I don't know, man. I ain't follow baseball. I know you talking about. Steve. I ain't followed it in a long time. But what I'm the, saying is, number ten or something. When the parent is just a, a good, not a superstar. I think he was a superstar. The, the kids end up being a superstar. Kobe, uh, Steph, Clay. Uh, no, Clay, Daddy was a fucking bitch. He was good, but his his son was a superstar. And Clay, and Clay's Daddy didn't play for the Lakers. You put that nigga on a normal team, he would have been a beast. We can't go off if. Let's go off what happened. Motherfuckers, when they die, is just a good player, and the kid come in, they they ain't superstar. Gary Payton the second in the NBA. He not he not he not better than his dad. I know that because his dad was a superstar. That was the same. Okay, well I thought you was gonna have a superstar. No, I, I, but but uh, make it make sense. Uh, if he was from New Jersey, uh, Martin, 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 uh, had a badass attitude, plow for it. Kenya Martin? Yeah, his son's going to be nice. But if, if his son, Kenya was okay, but like I just said, if the he dad... a beast. No, nah, if the dad is a superstar, the kids don't, don't do good. Now, if the dad was good, the kids going to be, if they get in, they normally become superstars. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Is this that beer cat? What? I'm gonna try this. Yeah. Pour some cups. I I'll, I'll drink something. Yeah. I'm just cool. saying we got all the topics of coaching, but coaching no, is definitely important. I'm not saying anything, but but they ain't. I'm not saying they're not important, but they only important if they got a good team. Name your coach, don't have some stars, 
is, is doing big things in these streets. That's all I'm saying. I think it's like what I said. The same thing uh, wrong where the team don't have no superstars, not on, and the coach says like that. Everybody wants to be the superstars. Like who? Like what if they was nobody? I said like who? Uh, like Memphis. All you do is John Moran. Okay, John Moran's a superstar. But they are. What? How many people are Memphis you know now? You play no clue cool because they did they would have beat Golden State if John Moran would have been healthy. So that's what I'm saying. But they got superstars. They got a superstar, but your superstar have role players that he, he they buy a of. But you still answer my question. Name me a team where they don't have no superstar and the coach has been so good that they're going farther in the playoffs. Detroit, Detroit Pistons, the back, uh, what? when they had Ben Wallace and Chauncey Billups and all that. They didn't really have no superstars. They just had a hard working ass. Well, they had some stars, but they had no superstars. They, you're right. I think you they they really had no superstars. They had some stars, but they got that one and stuff like that. They got. I mean, they got back to back. They didn't win. No, they they got, got the Detroit went to the championship twice. That team. They won one. They lost one. They they beat uh L A Legend <laughs> in o th- o three. They ain't going no far. Who went to 04? Celtics. One yeah, they did because they got they got the damn dog white by the San Antonio. Was it? <coughs> I, I, I won't pay attention. <coughs> but anyway, so we talk about that. So, do certain people bring the good or bad out of you? That's what's good. How fucking is good? Um, I think I think certain people can bring the. Some fuck boy shit out of you from time to time. Some asshole this. I mean, but only if you let him. Boy, I, I was try- well, I was talking first, motherfucker. I mean, you still pull shit. I think uh, like when you when I was younger, my baby mom could bring some fuck boy shit out of me. Like you know, what I'm saying, motherfucker, say something to you. Like, wait, hold on, maybe you want to snap. But. It depends what's in your character after that, I guess. What? In your character? Yeah. I've been seeing this. Is this like that 100 grand? Hell no. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I, people can bring good back. Uh, people can bring good back. You, sometimes you don't even realize. You really don't realize what people can bring out of you until over time. Something happened. For instance, like, uh, me and my girl were saying something, like, your stupid ass dude. Like, call each other out our names, even though it was playful. And then I was somewhere, and then I recognized that I was doing it with other people. I'm like, God damn. I'm like, shit, I better, I better slow that up. I had to think. Because, you know what I'm saying? Because even call, though... Call somebody the wrong thing. No, no, it's, no, it's not that. It just, you're so used to saying it. That you just t- say it to everybody. Come second nature. That's what I'm saying. So even though, even like people that's toxic, they don't know they fucking toxic. A lot of people don't know they toxic because they've been doing it for so long. Until some people tell them about it, like, and then <coughs> your conscience might kick in. Some people come might be like, hold on, I now gotta change that up. So people that, that, yeah, huh? people that give a fuck, that just. But a lot of people don't give a fuck, so it never changes. But if you don't give a fuck, I mean, I mean. But I'm just saying, like, some people, some people you can tell them their ways, show them their ways, they can see it, but they just don't give a fuck, so they never change it. This is just who I am. Yeah, but what's the outcome of that, though? You stop fucking with them, not tell them No, just, just in general, even you fuck with them or not, it's just, over time, you, you see them people, like, later on, and, and you, you don't give a fuck, your path is always negative. I ain't never seen the person that don't give a fuck or care. Later on, they have a great path. If you don't switch up for the better, the good. I'm not saying. Oh, go ahead. I, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. I just I said, see a motherfucker that don't give a fuck, and then you see their success rise. Well, I mean, don't give a fuck about people how they think about them and all that. I'm talking about. Just, just railroad everybody. Everybody in their past. I just seen somebody. This one of my mentors, right? 
um, and graduated from Carlson mm -hmm. uh, Business School. He was like, I'm a shark. I don't give a fuck about none. none. He was like, this is what he told me. He said, what, if a shark swims backwards, it dies. So I'm always going to go forward no matter who's there. I'm either eating them or they getting the fuck up my way. Oh, oh, that's different. That's different. That's totally different. When but I'm when it came to business, when he when it came to business, it's more like, let's say it was a deal between me, you, and him. And we all had agreed. And he found a way to get your ass up out of that deal. He was getting your ass up out of that okay, deal. Okay, that's different. Like, he was just, like, to me, when it comes to it, because, like, I had to tell, like, after I got grown, even though, like, he's still my mentor to this day, I'm like, you know, some of your business practices I can't, I can't support because of you slimy. No, that's different. That's totally different. That's, that's a totally different way of living. Because I'm talking about, he is with that, it's like that with anything. Like, his wife, anything, anything that's not, like, on his protocol is moving. No, Here. but that's, that's type of, that's totally different. I'm talking about that's that's totally different because even fifty was like the most sweet as fuck, the most grimiest motherfuckers in business. You think people on the street grimy? If you go in business, do some more grimiest motherfuckers you ever gonna meet in your life. Yeah. So that's totally different. Like when it comes to money. And but stuff I'm like, just saying he like that with his whole lifestyle. Everything. And then you, and then women that tend to be with them guys, they know they like that, but they there for the lifestyle, so they they okay with you being shitty shit with me. <laughs> His wife started off as his business partner. And that's how they started. And then they grew into what it was. And she ain't there for the lifestyle because she got her own. No, what thing was she there for? He ain't that goddamn, he ain't that shark. Get the fuck out the way or treat no wrong. She, she a shark too. Yeah, but nah. He just, really. a, he just a bigger shark. Two two sharks really is is hard. You can, you, you, you bumping the head. Two alphas can't really be in the same. I don't, I, I don't believe that. I, you I, think two alphas could be in a relationship? Because if you have an overall goal, you can see, if you have an overall goal, like, uh, here you go, watch the show House of Cards. Both of them are alphas. Both of them are just top of the line alphas. But their overall goal is their team goal. So no matter what it takes to get there, are they married? they married. No, because somebody got to make the last decision. Who making they, the last decision? No, they, this is how they make a decision. They're going to make a decision together. Man. Period. No. If somebody got to get killed, hey, she got to go. Well, I guess she got to go. If it's the best for us, she got to go. But that's different. I'm, I'm talking about if, if if there's a decision to be made, right? Let's say we going out to eat. Let's say that. Uh, well, all right, when well, you even with a woman, when you, when you make a decision to go out to eat, not to say ain't where you want to go, no way. No, but what I'm saying is somebody, two hours came, somebody got to be into one another. You can try to be the head all the time, but somebody got to make that last decision. I just think that's what uh, you, somebody compromises. It doesn't mean they're not an alpha. I, it's not that. It's just somebody got to be in. Somebody got to fucking be in. What you said the last time? A group of people, somebody in there alpha, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you, you, if it's a group and it's two alphas, who's who going who gonna to run? If it's a group, who's going to run? So, if it's two alphas in a group, who's going to run? Both of the alphas? Or or one by somebody gonna make that last decision. Okay, well, let's look at our group. Right, we both alphas. Right, nigga, we hey, do this work for you? But see, it's a difference though because I'm gonna let you make the last decision because you put this together. But at the same time, it's it's not me asserting my dominance to you, so your dominance is more of a compromise. No. And it's two albums working but, together. But you the head of it because th this is your group. You but, this is, but it's still us working I get together. It. Because if it was just all of my book and all of my decision, then but I come to y'all and ask what works for y'all. Right, right. But at the end of the day, you're going to make the last decision because you came with the podcast. But it's the same. Right, I'm saying. Okay, like, so I don't come, I don't, I don't, I don't act like that. It, and the point of how you act, just what I'm saying. Or I don't treat the situation like that. You don't have to, but. I put you there because you you come up the podcast and say, Sean, let's do a podcast. So at the end of the day, whatever the decision is going to be made, you're going to make it because you didn't hear that of the, of the group as a whole. So in, in this situation, you're going to make you're gonna make oh, yeah, that decision. Right, but we just... But two, just I'm just saying there's two alphas that work together well. I mean, we all, all, all three of us alphas in our own way. Yeah, we right. all, and we all work... 
But when, when, I, when we own when we own track, we are fucking like a good ass race car track. Right, right. But going. but in this group, you are the head alpha because because like I said, I'm I look at us all as equals. We are equal, but if the if there's a decision to be made, it's gonna be you. We can agree upon on some shit. Yeah. But the last decision is gonna go through you because you don't put the group together. I like I'm alpha, but I'm like I'm like I can I can give you control. But if if, if the direction is not going in the right direction, and then I was like, fuck that, we're gonna go this route. But at the end of the day, you're gonna make the last decision because you put the group together. Right? That's that's just me. You can right, leave. Stop it. Let's grow. Damn. Well, what's wrong with that time? I like that time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you still answer the question. What are you talking about? Like two apples in a relationship. Some. Do you think two people that's at the head can make the decision all the time? Okay. Well, you, um, I can just talk about just some weird shit I see because I watch a little TV. Like uh, Love and Hip Hop, Rashida and Kurt. Right. She's a boss. He's a boss. I saw that. I saw the interview. They just did. And like when she just talked about like it's split up there fifty fifty down the right. Way. And then like he was like, well, she be hiding clothes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But those are two alphas. You know what I'm saying? That but, work well together. Kurt might make the last decision. He make the last on certain decision. Business decisions. No, he makes the last decision but, overall. I think he make it on the business on when it comes to the family. When it comes to family, he, he makes the last. Care of that. No, he makes the last decision. Like he let him do all that. He does all thing. But when it comes to them being as a family, I think Kurt make the last decision. Like he was talking about, he don't like when her, his account lower than hers. So he'll go sell a car because women like guys that's, you know what I'm saying, a little bit better than him. So he was like, I got that mindset that I got to keep myself a little bit higher than her to show that, you know what I'm saying, that they're dumb. I, I think is that like some, is that like uh in my mind, that's kind of like little dick syndrome. No, no. It's because not- I don't, like, when I look at us, when you, we a team, like, in my situation, if I'm down on my dick, it's her job to pick me up. It's supposed to be. And, and I mean, I wasn't picking myself up, but it's her job to help me as well. She, and, you know what I'm saying, and vice versa. If she fall down, I got to help her. As a team, you right. are you are so correct. I don't look at, I can't look at hers and mine. I look at what the fuck we got as a team. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I look at our assets right now, okay, this is what we developed together as a team. What did I develop by my damn self as a team? It might have took me another five, six, seven months to get that shit. You, you listen. You, you talk a lot. That is correct. But women practice hypergamy. Women practice. Women always need somebody above them so they can submit. Like most women, that's you on that same level or below. Them, they try to dominate. They try so to So why don't a lot of women get a... A lot of niggas ain't got no jobs, no cars, no nothing. Control. It's control. It's control. And you know what? I just seen that TikTok where I can understand the control. But a lot of these niggas be driving their cars, having their money. Yes. So they ain't really got no control at the end of the day. But they do because they let them do that. But at the end of the day, that man gonna do... Like, she she, she let that, to, you know, to let him feel like he leave. But at the end of the day, It's control. Right. You, you, know, see that you, t- t- you see that TikTok? Uh, get your ass in the shot. Come up here, yeah, get yeah. this pussy. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to eat no pussy. Boy, you just, I like, mean, he paid. She paid his half of the rent, or something like that. Or something some like motherfucker would talk to me. Like but that. I'm saying it's control. I'm saying a motherfucker talk to me like that, nigga. I'm, nigga I'm, but I'm just saying, let's go with that. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm coming up here. I'm gonna bring a whole crowd, right. a live crowd, put it right on your pussy. They they like the guy that's uh, uh, go out to work, but I need a lot of times we don't have that balance that women. And, and it's hard. Women want you to work your ass off, but I need that time. You need this, then. Yeah, we all they all have, over. You either gonna have to work, you either yeah. have time, or you or have they to want work. the balance. Like, oh, like I, I was at work uh, last week, and dude I'm said, oh. "Oh, I thought you were gonna tell the story." No, no, dude was like, his girl about to break up with him. They got two kids. Break up with him because he working too much. Too much. You keep working because he was like, "What my dad did for forty four years." He's like, "What? Let me go make the money." Then we can chill. Yeah, chill, and now you know. She like, if you keep working this overtime, I promise you, I'm a, I'm a quit your ass. Like, hold on, but I'm not out cheating. I'm not doing. I'm, I'm trying to make money for you and these two kids that we got together. So they, they love to control. That's why they. <coughs> a woman is it, is it control or is it 
I like I'm, trying to be by myself. No, damn, but even when I'm young, a woman told me, because I'm like, damn, why would you have kids by a, a, a bum dude that ain't really doing nothing? You know what I'm saying? She's like, well, we love apples, but if I get with an alpha, I have water that. If I get sweet, you gotta let it. You gotta let the what's in the mail. Right, that's why I, I got to put some on. If if and you waste some money. And and she's like, well, we like we like after the butt. We we get with them and then we lose control and they cheat on us and we we'll lose our mind. But with the guy that's beneath me, I really don't give a fuck what he do. But he gonna always be there, and I got control over that. I think, but I but that's why I'm saying this where I think you wrong because I just see the bomb ass nigga do some grimy shit and they go crazy. Hold up, but is are, are they going crazy? Or do, do they cheat also? I mean, I just see them go both ways. No, what I'm saying. Right, okay, I, you know, know, I'm just gonna put a, uh, one of my cousins. Right. She a motherfucking RN. Mm-hmm. Good ass job. Good ass money. Her baby daddy, literally, is this nigga was a weed dealer that couldn't keep his weed. <coughs> right. But, this nigga had money for a week. Right, right. Product for a week and they wouldn't have nothing. Hold up. I'm going to confess that. Hold up. But well, we talked about this. They love the drug deal stuff because that's the unknown. Well, but she didn't want to put the nigga on the drug deal because yeah. she's like, you need to hustle. You need to do something. Okay, go ahead. Don't start it. I'm, I'm so all the pain. Go ahead. Nigga case, he couldn't keep up that. He couldn't, he couldn't keep up going to like, uh, what's the job you work today, get paid today, whatever that is. Couldn't do that. Um, uh, ready man or something like that. It, it's like ready. It's, man. it's ready. not ready man, but it's something like, like that. that. Yeah. So, um, couldn't do that. So this motherfucker, he he already got a kid with her. Mm-hmm. He fucked around, got a kid, got another, got another chick pregnant. My cousin, when I say my cousin went berserk, nigga, all to the point of everything of almost losing her license. Just she hit this nigga with a car, mm-hmm. shot at the nigga, everything. Because the little bum that she loved so much, I put it invested so much into, I did it wrong. But we, but we know from the podcast that I know this: women growing up, they love the the bummy dude and the street dude up until they get to a point where I don't want this no more, and then they start wising up. Even through was like in the twenties. That that's, that whole decade, they just do dumb shit. Women and general do not do not know how to pick a man. They don't know how to pick a man. But then they they pick the bomb dudes, and then they blame every dude for they fuck up. They ain't no good man. Women? I do. Do you? I I learned how to pick a woman, but I guess I gotta say the same thing because huh. look at my situation. I got three baby mamas. Uh, and I did pick them. I got fucking four serious real relationships of exes that I picked them. But who who do most provide men and women? Men. Okay. So we pick women. First we pick them off the looks, and then we we pick them off. Okay. How we vibing with? Yeah, them. yeah. That's how we pick them. Women pick guys on feelings. Uh, uh not really providing for them. Or nothing I like think that. they do looks too. Not just say looks or whatever, but women will pick money over looks anyway. Because I remember, I remember for the longest, I thought I thought black chicks didn't want to fuck with me. But I didn't, I didn't really get my first black chick after they after the one that was given to me. But hold up, but do, like I was like seventeen. But do women pick over money over looks or looks over money? Shit, I think they'll take a little broke nigga. No, no. yeah, because I see it happen all the time. You see it happen, but they would they was cheat yeah. on a dude. They would cheat on a dude. With a motherfucker with money, man. I, true, true story. Be at, mm-hmm. at, at, you know, at your gig, just happened. Nigga working, working, working. Mm-hmm. He 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 associated of us. He not he not with us, but he is associated. One of our one of our dudes smashing his girl on a normal. Okay. Right. She cashing him out on top of it. Okay. Right. Her dude work. You know, get to her, do everything. But this dude come in and drop off the, you know, drop off the anaconda because her man ain't at home doing it. But not that the man is doing anything wrong, just he didn't have the time or didn't have, when he was home, 
So what do you do? You want to come home and sleep? That's some psychological stuff. But like I said, though, even they had uh, Blue, what's her name? Blue Jasper. You, you, you ever met her? You know about her? Okay. okay. She's a nice looking chick. She's been on Kevin Sanders. She's been there all over the internet, right? She was talking about, about she was talking about how she had a dude that did everything for, her, but then she left him and go with the dude. And she said the, the the relationship more thrilling because they struggled together. Which I'm like that don't make sense. But a lot of women like that. Women want the best thing, but they gon' They gonna get that dude because it's a thrill ride. But at the end of the day, they do that in their twenties and stuff. But they, as they get older, then they want the stability, the kids, and all that lifestyle. Do you think women cheat better than men? Hell no, not in my book. You don't think women cheat better than men? No, I think women cheat better than men. This, 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 this is why they cheat better. I mean, by far. Listen, I'm gonna tell you why y'all think like that. If you all do your thing or whatever, you're not paying attention to your girl. They're just they're just coming back. Men don't really care. Like men will say, "Well, I I don't." She goes, "She won't go to my phone, but I will never touch her phone." We don't really pay attention to the small details. No, there's a lot of bitch niggas that do that now. Do what? Go to their woman. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about in general. We don't like me. I pay attention to the behavior and everything. I know when you change. I know everything. Right. So I'm on the same level as women. So I don't think women cheat better than me. But overall. Men say you don't cheat. Huh? You ain't never cheated. You don't even know how to cheat. I know how to cheat. How the hell you know how to cheat if you ain't well, never cheated? If, if, when I cheated, the relationship was over. You didn't cheat there, motherfucker. The relationship was over. <laughs> the fuck you talking about? <laughs> you said, well, I cheated. The relationship was over. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. It was going for a couple weeks. Yeah, you, don't, you, don't, you don't know nothing about putting you washing your dick in the sink. Then you got to grab your drawers, put your, wet your drawers back on it, put some summer, my, no my, more my, order back on it. But this is not the yeah, thing though. I can do everything I want to do as a single man. So why not talk about? Uh, we, well, this, this, this is why I know about being a single this, man. Hold up, I said women, women cheat better than men. Hold up, this is why I don't cheat. You said I don't cheat. The reason I don't cheat is I can do everything I can as a single man. So why jump in a relationship and do the shit I can do as a single man? I'm not talking about. Uh, all I, I, I understand. No, we not. I said you don't cheat. But, I just told you why I don't cheat though. Right, but I'm saying you don't even know how to cheat. Crazy fuck. <laughs> I got, I'm the best cheat ever, but I do not. Wait, how the hell you the best cheat? You ain't never cheated. Because I know how to I do never it. made a pair of Jordans, nigga. I buy not a bio. Niggas do cheat, they sloppy as shit. Most dudes sloppy as shit. Stay out all late, lazy shit. You can cheat at 8, 9 in the evening <laughs> and be at home till at 10. Yeah. But niggas cheat sloppy as shit. Leave evidence, all kind of shit. Would you stupid? Women leave evidence. Women leave it too, but pens. But okay, let me let me ask you this. Do do men know women do you know your spouse? Do men know their spouse better than they spouse know them? Do you pay attention to your Because your spouse don't remember shit that you did two, three years ago. Men don't think like that on an act. Right. No, but that's why that. that's why that's I, why that's the point that I've been saying I didn't about. I didn't see so many women cheat. That's how I know. I see more women cheat and get away with it. It's not the same men. By far. Because men are very sloppy. Besides old school grandpas, them motherfuckers, like my grandpa had, he lived on, he lived on the street on the south side. He lived on this block. He had a family on this block. He told the kids, don't play with the kids at the end of that street. But they all brothers and But what I'm saying is, so who, who, who got back? To me, who got a better memory, men or women? To you. It depends. Women hold on to shit. That's the difference. But they remember what you said two, three years ago or, or your actions, right? That's why men say they cheat because they think of stuff and bring up shit that you did. Like, what? Like, let's say you went to Harlem and shit, bring up some shit happened in 1802. Like, hold on, motherfucker. That's why men think, they say women think, I mean, cheat better. Because they see your ass. How many, have you, how many, have you, how many dudes and girls have you fucked? Yeah. Have you fucked a lot of women that had men? Yeah, I have. Okay. I so them. this is what I'm saying. This is why they they, they cover their tracks better. Mm. I'm telling you, no. From my standpoint, I'm not. How many niggas that called you? Huh? How many niggas that called you? You been fucking my bitch? No, because I know how to track myself, and 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 so. 
A lot of times. That's what I'm saying. Like, so you don't even have the cheating problems. You ain't had those. You don't understand what I'm saying. I've been cheating on. So I'm not. I'm not talking about you. What? Talking about this. The whole conversation was who cheat better, men or women. And that's the whole conversation. And I, and I said, in my eye, uh, neither one. It just women pay more attention to their dude than they do pay more attention to their women. True or false? So, come on now. We don't pay attention to our women like women pay attention to us. I we, said some some dudes. Nah, when well, some dudes is up their woman ass twenty four fucking seven, like a fucking tampon, like a G string. I'm not saying that. So dad, yeah, they know this shit. Okay, so okay, in that in that situation, they know they girl cheating or not. Yes or no? They, they, those dudes normally just think the shit automatically, no matter what. Okay, but okay, but they know the motherfucking key. They actions, how they, you know what I'm saying, how they move. Right? And we and it go back to what you said. Like, he was like, I don't give a fuck about people buying my white drinks in the club and all. That don't mean shit. You know who she's going home to. Right. So, in your interest, she's going to be kidding, but you don't care because you know what's no, going on. I, 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 know, I know the way she moves and her actions. I'm just saying that. So, if any of those are out of the ordinary. No, but what I'm saying is, like, like you said, well, I could be at home. I'm just talking about how she dress. I don't give a fuck if nigga buy. Look, man, because I'd have been, like I said, I. I man, I what? was that dude that was so insecure and didn't want. It's not insecure. Yes, it is. It's the thing of no. you, man. Look, hey, ask, my, ask in the comments. Women, if you're in a relationship, women can't just dress any kind of way because you are a representation of me when you are. Yes, you are. But you I do want you. Part. I do want you. You can be a representation of me and still be sexy. Man, not with your half your ass out. I didn't say half your okay. ass out. Okay. I, I, okay. I, I didn't say half your ass out. I didn't say half no, we were talking. You trying, trying to switch my goddamn no, I, I was talking about right before me and her had come six months ago. I said, if you meet a woman, have her uh, ass half out. Yeah, half uh, a, okay, you. You like you, in the beginning of our podcast. No, but you like, well, I don't really care how my wife dressed. Because I know who she coming home to. You yeah, but you still gonna, you still going to have, you still right. represent me, so you still going to be. You can be wearing something sexy, but you're not gonna be wearing nothing that's that hoish to the point where we got to hey, where we got to take the tune out fast. Rewind this motherfucker. You say I don't really care. I don't care to a point. I'm not now still goddamn point. They ain't what you okay, said. well, first of all, See, if you my there woman, be some truth term in that if you my woman, you no, you my woman. You already know what's acceptable and what's not acceptable. You, at first, you ain't said that shit. You just said I didn't. I really don't care. Cause I know who she coming home to, and I ain't that kind of dude. I'm that type of dude. Like when I was in a club on a constant basis, a dude can dance with my girl. I didn't give a fuck. See, no. Like you wasn't gonna dance with my girl two, three songs, but nigga, I know no. that's mine. Right. So I didn't have to worry about. I had niggas hollering at my. J- I, I didn't even give a fuck because I knew it was Holl- mine. Hollering and saying, "Hey, how you doing, baby?" No, I had niggas tr- shooting full of shots. That's what I'm trying to. Well, hold on, hold on. Did she? Did she, she shut the shit down? Okay, well, they shooting that fuck. Like, hold on. Before you get into this spiel, I'm in a relationship. Thank you for the compliment, but go ahead. I'm good. Now, if he just sitting there shooting a full shot, I have a problem with that because you should be shutting that shit down before you get to that far. What, what I'm saying is, okay, saying? so boom. I have to tell you, this is, this is a real yeah, situation. Go on, go on, go on, we go in the club. I'm in a DJ booth. Right. She, uh, you know what I'm saying? She come up there a couple times, talking to me, whatever, blah, mm-hmm. blah. Her and her homegirls on the stage mm-hmm. dancing. Do go, you know, a couple dudes go behind the dance. Okay, she might dance with him for a song. All right, yeah, she, you got to move around. I have seen dudes come and talk. Hey, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to be your man. Oh, yeah, I got a man. It's okay. But, you know, thank you. No. I, I don't, like, I, I feel like when you're secure with who you are as a man, and you're secure who you are no. in that relationship, you know what it is. No, but see, secure, see, I don't like the words secure and insecure. I, I hate the word completely because, because I feel like a lot of no, men are so insecure no it's not it's, it's, it's standards man. listen you, fuck insecure everybody got different standards right you can't say well I'm insecure because I don't want nobody dancing on my girl that's not insecure if you want somebody to dance on you be single you are connected with somebody see like I said in the other uh, uh, question ta- things that used to be taboo we make normal now so Insecure and insecure. But do you do you see that we're the only country that looks at... Let me that. Mm-hmm. I thought too sweet, motherfucker. I know how to dilute the shit now, motherfucker. Put some ice on it. You don't pee in it. We're the only country 
that has set the standards of this one one mate household. Where other households have three or four mates, five or six mates. So listen, did nobody set no fucking standard? You can live however you want in this country. Ain't nobody tell you not to have one goddamn on it. How you gonna cough them up from fucking top ain't on it? Fuck you doing? Put top over you on the coughing and shit. You want to have to put your goddamn hands on me. You want to put your goddamn hands on me. You want to put your goddamn hands on me. You want to put your goddamn hands on me. You want to put your goddamn hands on me. You want to put your goddamn hands on me. You want to put your goddamn hands on me. You want to put your goddamn hands on me. You want to put your goddamn hands on me. You want to put your goddamn hands on me. You want to put your but can you afford all the motherfuckers? Can they afford you? Hey man, I don't need all that. That's too many. That's 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 too many. Next category. I just told you. I just told you, fuck We just went into it. I thought. Man, we've been on that show for about two hours. No, we didn't. I just told you what it was. What is it? Why the things that used to be taboo is normal. Oh, it's normal now. I just told you that. Oh. I don't know. Well, what's, what's some taboo to you? What you just said that that you know saying that shit happens and that we feel like insecure and secure and all that and I just I, I feel like you know what I'm saying that's taboo. I mean a lot of shit we do is taboo, but I, I, I think like the sex clubs and shit is like taboo. That's a lot like, of shit. Maybe I'm just on a different scale and taboo. But we we normalize shit that you know what I'm saying that we feel like. To me, it's safe. Right? Like certain porn, I think is weird. That like too far taboo. Certain porn, yeah, yeah, that could be. But I mean, a lot of shit, a lot of shit, we we do, it's a lot of shit we do now is very normal to us, right? Like how me and Tarita think. That's like that's like weird. It's like fucked up way of thinking. Like you know, like you just said, I never cheated. You know, what I'm saying I ain't never had a whole phase. You see what I'm saying? In my eye, that's normal, but to other people, that's weird, that's fucking stupid. It, I ain't did enough for a year. It's like, it's like, but to me, that's normal, but other people, like, that, that's a weird little motherfucker right now. It's technically not normal because it's not huh? normal for people to do Because it. we're in a hookup culture. That's why it's that's not the, normal. Well, I mean, it's, but some people, even when we get in that hookup culture, some people still don't, still don't be fucking around like that. Huh? Some yeah. people don't. Yeah, some people don't, but I'm saying it's. But I'm just saying, but, like, it's weird. Reason why is okay, no homo. No, to me, you're not a bad looking dude. Right. You're funny as hell. Mm-hmm. You take care of yourself. You got a crib. So to me, these are all things that attract women, hood rats, hoes. No, you're right. So for to go a year where you didn't have good ones, you didn't have bad ones, you had great ones, all these be available to you. To go for a whole complete year without nothing, that's where I think it's fucking weird. Yeah. Because sooner or later, it's like, one of these motherfuckers supposed to wear me down. No, but they have, but I try to put myself where I can weed through all the negativity. And, and and if I want something good, could I push all, the, all, this, all this shit out the way and focus on what I really want? So that's why I need almost a year. Like, women... Throw their stuff at me all the time. Like I said, I just had an incident the other night. Yeah, yeah. Well, so, like, so, so. Don't put that out there. I did. not I, did. I, I, did. I just be trying to remind y'all, man. Just oh, shut your ass up. Listen. So I try to, I try to weed myself through stuff. Because if, if I want to, if I want something good out there, and if I get it, is I'm in a position not to fuck it up. Like, you know, a lot of times we have some good and fuck it up. And then as we get older, we wish we can go back and redo what we we fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, so I try I try not to put myself like, damn, nigga, you had to go do stupid shit, your whole phase or whatever the fuck going on in your life and fuck it up. Then you get older, like, man, I wish I could get that one thing back. But my whole phase is what hmm? made me, like. Right, your whole phase made who you are and you know what you want. Right, it, it may, like, we, we, we but, 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 but like you said, you don't need that many women right now, right? I don't need, I just need one. Okay, okay. So this is, this this is what I told you why I, I was weird growing up. I knew back when I was like 
second, third grade, what you know now. I knew back then all I wanted was one chick in my own family. I didn't need a lot of women. I knew that as a young age. And then I, 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 like, I, th- I thought that, back, I thought that as like I started coming up, but like this, like I told you, and Sean White said, said the shit perfectly. A lot of trauma that we had as kids that we didn't even recognize as kids was trauma. I had that trauma and I still, and I didn't recognize it. So, like when I told you, nigga, I was riding bikes from Ian Green past Northrop to get some cootie cat, that shit, like, that's an addiction there. That's not something. No, no, I get it. So, my, like, that was a lot of my issue. But I always seen all my uncles and all right, the people right. that had a lot of women. No, I get it. So, I thought that this is just, we supposed to have a lot of women. You know what I'm saying? When I seen a woman just bring my uncle money, or I'm like, okay, this is just what's supposed to happen. Yes. I, so I had this concept in my head of I got one or two good, good women that I'm going to have. And you know what I'm saying? I deal with them how I deal with them. I'm going to have a whole bunch of hoes I do bad. No, I, I get everything you're saying. I had the same trauma. But in that trauma, I didn't see none of that. You see what I'm saying? I saw it. But I'm like, this is, I'm looking dead at it as a young pup. I said, I don't want none of that shit. I, I'm like, it, it was nuts to me. I'm telling you, I, I've been different all my life. I saw how, I'm going to give you instance. I saw where my mom's in a relationship. Her boyfriend drove her to go have sex with some goddamn drugs. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? And the kids is in the back seat when all this shit going on. You see, I had a lot of trauma in my life, like, but I, I was like, as I got, I, I didn't want none of it. So I was pushing, as I got, I was pushing all negativity away from me, and then I didn't have a whole phase because I know how I felt growing up, and I ain't want to hurt nobody else's feelings. So I was like, no, that's not us. But how you trying? I mean, I, I remember, I, I like, remember I just told you, like, I remember, first, I just remember so much shit. Like, I remember the first time I got cheated on. Mm-hmm. I remember. uh First pregnancy scare, all that shit. But doing? I feel like all those, during that phase, it showed me, only thing I felt like, I, it showed me my like what I like sexually, mm-hmm. what I don't like, what I deal with, what I won't deal with. But it also showed me how to deal with a woman on this highest spectrum and then on the lowest spectrum. And what, what where I think that me, what I'm willing to settle with, when I wanted a woman on a 74, and if I want a woman on a 22. That's what it showed me during that phase. All right. Like I said, <coughs> I've been through it. I, I'm telling you, I used to sit down and think, like, damn, why are you not doing, you know, the whole phase of why you think totally different than everybody around me? I'm, I'm being honest with you. I sat down and I'm like, How's, how in the fuck are you different? And you didn't, and none of that shit caused you a lot, you know, trauma like everybody else. Like, but with my face, like, it showed me, uh, like, it showed me, okay, even the characteristics of myself. Mm-hmm. Like, as I got older and grown, and I'm like, okay, this is what is required to be a good man. Right. This is what, you know, you should be doing to, with your woman. Like, I always had this ideal in my head, and I still don't use it to this day. I think in a relationship, you or your partner should never go to bed and mad at each other. But I do. To this day, right now, to this day... I can tell you this sometimes that she's been mad at me or I've been mad at her, vice versa. No, I, and, I, I, and like I said, one of my partners taught me that. Because cause you, if, if you get me pissed off, I'm at your ass. And that, that was just me, right? I can tell you the incident. We out late after the club. We go to this place, get some chicken. You know what I'm saying? She in the car. I'm in, a, I'm in there. We Joe jacking and shit. She come in, telling the people. You know what I'm saying? Put sauce everywhere. I said, I don't want no sauce all on chicken. Just put them inside. I don't, I don't know if I like the sauce. So the, the dude put sauce everywhere. I said, you don't carry chicken out there. She grabbed the chicken, get out the front door, put it on the ground, and get back in the car. I said, oh, I'm feeling I'm going to climb this motherfucker right here. I get home. <laughs> but here I I get home. <laughs> I said, you calling all of me. You call the boy. <laughs> you can stay in the goddamn car. But listen. <laughs> I get home, I start eating chicken. I said, I'm looking up. I said, man, I'm going to go stay and climb this motherfucker. I said, get it to her. She said, listen, I, I don't want to go. Let's not go to bed, you know, mad at each other. I said, you know what? I like that concept. And I shut the fuck up and went to sleep. And, and from that point on, I like I like that. 
So I, I, I use that, I use it, and then I start going forward, and I try to be that person. It's, it's something that, like, my homeboy and my mom always said, it's like, you never, let your, you never let your partner go to bed mad at each other. And to this day, it's something I need to practice. But how? Practice get but, better at. But my thing is how if sometimes you can walk in the house uh, and, and not speak to each other all day long. So how do you stop yourself from going to bed? I think, it, I think it's... Now, take you got it, more take it, take it, take it out, take it out. It's taking that, <laughs> taking that moment and just like fuck it. Whatever the issue is, put your practice aside. We go. We need, we need. We need to fix this issue now, because I don't want to go to bed mad at you. Then I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna wake up mad at you. Now I'm about to go through my eight hour shift. I'm still mad at you. We text each other long ass texts throughout the shift. Now you just make me more mad. Now you bring up some oh shit. And now this about to become even a bigger argument. I, and I, I, I hope I'm going to pray that I can still, you know, practice because I'm one of the motherfuckers. Sometimes when I'm mad, I just shut you know, I don't know. No, no, no. So, so how do you do when, like, your partner just create arguments and be creating arguments? Well, I've been getting better about that. I just got out. I'm like, man, you just want to argue, just fucking argue. Like, what is your real issue? Like, I, I'm not here. I'm not a fucking, I'm not a psychic. Well, tell me what the fuck going on. If there's something I'm doing or something, this, something let's just talk about it. Like, and I've been getting better about that because before I'm like, man, shut the fuck up. I just, that was just what it was. But I know in my experience, I, I learned from, you know, thinking about it, that women just call all of me just to be all of me, just to feel they mo- uh, um, help their emotions out that day. Just just start an argument for no reason. I had one, we just talking and shit, and a motherfucker started bringing some shit back happening three, four years ago. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker just want to argue right now. Yeah, and that's, that's when you, my mom was arguing about that shit. Yeah, but I'm like, but she was, she was going deep. She was going to cut. She was cut deep with it. <laughs> like, hold on, motherfucker, you crying. <laughs> you know, motherfucker, was, oh, like, hold on, this motherfucker just cut deep for no reason. We were just talking normal, and then she going to bring some shit up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, okay. I got, you ever had something like that? I definitely have. Like, um, like, like one of my chicks, you know what I'm saying? She quit a job. I'm like, that's on you, consequences, you know what I'm saying? But she know the one thing I hate is you asking for money when you just quitting and now you big. You know, we just like, hey, what's going on? I need to borrow some money. I'm like, oh, come on, now. you know I'm going to get in your ass because you, you start this argument. You start something. I'm like, I'm like, why y'all do that? But they get their fix off of that. I got, I, got a, I got a fucked up one for you. Mm-hmm. I'm about to swing. I'm going to swing this back. And uh, Okay, think we get day one. Ace Boom Coon. What if every time you did something, this motherfucker did it? Did exactly what you did, but did it better? What? I don't know about that. Okay. So, uh, you go, you go, like, you, I'm in the guns. We're going to, me, we're going to, I'm A and you B. Okay. Okay. I'm in the guns. You're not in the guns. Okay. I go buy a couple guns. Right? Next thing you know, a couple days later, you go buy guns. But you're not even in the guns. I'm like, okay. I go buy me a, a charger. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get Next thing you know, I bought the charger with the Hemi. Now, this motherfucker came and bought the charger with the Daytona package. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I get it. So then, I'm trying to help you. I, I wrecked my, I, my semi, I semi hit mine. So, so I went. run his off the road? <laughs> No, that's enough. No, that's enough. <laughs> so I'm going to get a caddy, right? A little XCX caddy. Next you know, this motherfucker got a caddy. I'm like, why am I in competition with my best fucking friend? Like, why are you always one up in me? I never, and I still don't understand. Just this is how bad this shit is. Uh, let me ask you so, a little fuck. Y'all still friends? Yeah, he's one of my day ones. Uh, you still in competition? <laughs> yes, because this just happened. So, boom. He, so... My wife had a Mustang. All right, we have a Mustang. Drop top. He comes in, in town. Like, he like, hey, I need to use a car. I'm like, well, go ahead, use a Mustang. Use a Mustang. Next thing you know, nigga comes back in town with a with a Mustang, all carbon fiber, dope as fuck, big ass, dumb engine. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, why is this nigga always in competition with me? Like, and he outdoing me every fucking time because he want to be. But then so. I get it. I got my I got my Yukon. Mm-hmm. 
Next you know this nigga had a youth. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is where the kicker at. I go get married. Now, he was engaged. He didn't have no date. Mm-hmm. I go get married. He's my best man in my wedding. Two weeks later, he gets married. He did it? Two would weeks you, later. Would you be his best man? No. His, me nor his mom was there. Like, he just got married on a whip. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got my Yukon. Mm-hmm. Then he went and got on a Yukon. Raised the motherfucker up, put big boy tires. In. So, how would you feel if this is your day one? I mean, if I was ever actually motherfucker, uh, if I say, if I was to say, blah, 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 hey, man, I need to hold $5,000 right now. I need to hold 10000 right now. I know I can get it from him. I know he would give it to me, no questions asked. If I told him I needed him to take care of my kids, Listen. I know he would do it, no questions asked. Okay. I got, I got, I got, I got a situation like that. But he's not my he's not my day one, but I met him through my, my cousins now, right? Known for years, right? Every time I dealt with a girl, he dealt with the girl. We he probably had like three or four of my girls after me. He stayed out of there. He didn't he, mm-hmm. he didn't go in my trouble. No, no, I get it. I'm well, just saying, but how just No, I'm, I'm talking about niggas that's in competition, right? But this this one we this Give me one more. I got you. This this one we stop fucking around, right? Y'all not cool no more. I'm gonna tell you why. Well, I'm asking. No, hell no. What happened was one of my little jump offs. We're in the club. He like, hey man. He was like, hey man. Hey man. She told my threesome and shit. Do you mind me? That's what I said. I don't mind. She jump off. You know what I'm saying? Fast forward. I'm trying to hook him up with her sister. He like, man, she like a dude. I said, that's a dude. That motherfucker fighter than the motherfucker I got. One of our mutual friends was like, hey, man, he, he fucking her behind your back. She got pregnant. She telling me, she telling me, well, it's yours. I said, man, I want no motherfucking kids. I said, man, listen, fuck with me. You're going to do a bullshit. I don't give a fuck. I don't want no kids. I don't think it's mine because what happened with this up and I was, uh, we did something, but I had a condom. I flushed it down the toilet and I put it in the trash can. I said, man, I hope this motherfucker ain't, I said, I hope this motherfucker ain't take the goddamn, uh, thing out the trash can and put it in her. Cause that's how she was acting. Cause she was like, I looked up your zodiac sign, I know everything. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker crazy. Come, she come. We doing an abortion. I paid a hundred dollars. What year was this? I tell you. She, she didn't. She didn't come through. 2013. She didn't come through. He pulled up. He pulled up at my house. Look. He said, "Man, I stopped the abortion because I'm going into the new year." He got a family too. I told my family that I'm going in the new year. Clean slate. I told her I want a boy. Hope she having a boy. I'm just coming to you as a man. You know what I'm saying? What what we gonna do about this baby? I said, "What? Wait, 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 what do you mean? What we gonna do?" I told this motherfucker, I said, dude, I won't do abortion. I said, I'm going to pay for it. I got the money right now. I'm paying for it. You can give it to me back. No, no, we ain't going to do that. What you mean we ain't going to do that? So you going to just take it? He, he, he want the baby. But what if it's my baby? That's what I'm saying. I said, look, dude, you got to be fucked up. I said, man, y'all go ahead and go. I have a new girl in that. He busts in the door, new girl on the couch, all kind of shit. I said, well, that was not like y'all was cool like that though. No, we was cool as fuck, but he was in competition with me. Every every time I every time he see me with somebody, he go get him. Every fucking time. To this day, he's like, man, I miss being friends with you and shit. He's still in competition. I just met his new girl and we all at the bar and I mean, I'm like, damn, dude. Man, we supposed to be friends. I don't understand why friends and competition with. Now, if it's just an envy, we can sit down and talk about it. Now, a lot of times they want to be you, but they don't understand what it takes to be you. All this is the the defense product when they see you. They don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Well, if they been rocking with you day one, they don't. Not all the time. Not all the time. Because you, they don't know how you feel, your stress, your, your stress level. You can tell them so much. Right, you're right. But they don't really know who the fuck you are and what it is to make you every day. You know, because like I tell people, I got a smile on my face. You don't know if I'm going through anything because I don't let the outside world. You don't worry about that. I will second that to the world. I don't let the outside world understand what I'm going through. 
because you can't even help me with what I'm going through. But you got me, you got me out here in competition with you. You don't even know why. I, and like even to this day, like, like when I tell you this, like I said, this is how good of a friend is. Mm-hmm. Like nigga, if anytime I ever needed something, or vice versa, we always been there for each other. Right. Good advice. Tell me when I'm on my bullshit. All, you know what I'm saying? We can talk to each other about marital advice, all types of shit. And I never came to him because I know I think this is going to start that big of an argument with us. Like, can we go on vacation and all this shit together, right? I'm like, why the fuck you always get what I got? And then you, like, it's not like you get what I got. Just, like, you get what I got and then, like, to outdo me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I bought an AK, right? Mm-hmm. This nigga bought the AK with the tactical, the strap, the red beam, the extra mag, the flip mag. And he y'all got older than me. He older than me. He just want to be you. He, he like, he, but he's like, he my big brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. straight, like, we, Ace Boom Kung, like, you, anybody, that, like, motherfuckers knew, you fuck with him, you fuck with me, and vice versa. Yeah. Like, our family's even like that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, I just didn't, I never understood how we were, because I wasn't in competition with him. I looked up to him. Yeah. I looked up to him, you know what I'm saying? So, I can't, like, but when he got, like, I remember when this motherfucker got this gag, I think I was, fastest car I've ever been in in my life. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I was just proud of him. Mm-hmm. I was happy for him. But, like, that nigga, you know what I'm saying, you just bought a Jag, you ain't, you didn't give a fuck about no Charger. I go get a Charger. I mean, it was three days later, this nigga had a Charger, dog. What did he do with the Jag? <laughs> Kept the Jag. Oh. Nigga, money ain't really, nigga, money ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was like, I didn't understand it. I still don't understand it to this day. Because, because you, <coughs> you're not validating him on, like, he wants you to validate him. And, you know, like, and, and I had learned, I just congratulate you. Well, I gotta validate, everybody validate them, but not you. So they feel some kind of way. I don't, but, I don't think it's that way between it, him. Well, you think it is then? I think you feel like he got to one up me. No, I do think it's that like his. Yeah, but why? He, but you got to answer the question. But why he think he got to up one you? Because I think he feel like it's that big brother syndrome. No, it's not. If he, I, he asked me a question. That's yeah, what, but, but I, I'm just saying I got people in my life, but everybody validate him and, and, and say he the big kahuna, but you. Because we when that way he got to be in a big kahuna. Yeah, you know, but that's, that's, yeah, I know that's that. working together. Wait, 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 but so, oh, let's take you out of it. Let's take you out of it. Who who do praise him and, and pocket watch him and stuff? Everybody, right? I'm the one that keep trying to keep motherfuckers out of the I'm like, him out then. Let's, let's stay up. I said, besides you, who don't praise him? You say his money long and all that. Who don't praise him? Besides you. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you... What okay, but um, what I'm saying is, you congratulate everybody. Oh, boy, what's going on? You get money all that. They, they praising him and all that. But oh, you. Yeah. But you. But I'm real with the nigga. But that's the that's the, this I'm one. I'm like all right, you know, like like I'm like I'm like this like my CPA told me at the time. You keep doing this, you will never be well successful. You need to cut this, this, and this out, right? And once I did that, it worked. Okay. I was that, I, but okay. I'm that for him. Like okay. Okay, right. You need to stop doing this bullshit. We nigga, we hemorrhaging here, or you know, what I'm saying like we were, you know, what I'm saying not only best friends, brothers, we also I worked for him. Yeah, but you you doing something that he used to, right? Like, oh boy, everybody praising him, everybody, but I'm not doing none of that shit. So he look at me totally different, and that's why he's in competition with me. Okay, let's take a beautiful one. Like uh, you, the movie Hitch. Let's go back to Hitch, right? Okay. When we went in there and, and gave her that money to come out of it, right? So she used to everybody doing everything and praising him. But that one person, that's why we're a gal. He's a competition with you. Yeah, I like you. You know what I'm saying? You're doing great. You ain't, oh, boy, you doing that thing. will be like you. I congratulate you. Keep doing your thing, boy, because you're the best. Now, the nigga all in competition because he wants you to be like everybody else. Validate him all on his nuts. And, but that's not that's, that's But not the motherfuckers that's, even the motherfuckers that's like that on his nuts, they don't even fuck with him. That's what I'm saying, though. So but that's the, why, like, I don't think it's that case. Uh, but that, that, I think I think he just I think he just like with me because it's, 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 it's a whole squad of it's not just. I'm not like, gonna, okay. What I'm saying, but like, he's the only one that do that, right? Hypothetically, let's say I'm, 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 I'm just gonna put some initials. Let's say TB go get something, 
And all right, so we we all got we all got shoot for things. Me and me and my nigga, we go shoot shopping. But day. after crew, I my nigga, up, but hey, but, these just came out. I got I can get you a pair. But listen, after the crew, so but, let's, let's say he go get let's say he went to go get a brand new scat pack. Yeah. And let's say I was gonna get the mirror. He not the the one we talk about. He don't give a fuck about that scat pack. But he gonna go get a Camaro because I got Camaro. But this is what I just said. Out of the group you just said, he don't want in competition with you, right? Okay. Cause I, I, like I feel like like I don't know like okay. out of my circle I feel like who okay I your circle I have in competition with you. I'm just him. That's what I just say. It don't matter how much money he make none of that. All right. Uh, but like I said, I didn't feel like it was a competition. But I was like, nigga, why every time I get so it is a competition. You gotta get it, and you outdo me. Well, you gotta say something. Like people is, is very intimidated by you. You, you. you think you research shit and all kind of shit. You do shit normal people don't do, right? You just do. I mean, not. I mean, not in my case, but I'm just saying, normal people. You do. <laughs> We in competition now, Sean? No, no, no. I ain't competition with you. Shit. Fuck you. What you doing? Me be in competition with. But what I'm saying is, that's too much fucking water. How the fuck you gonna tell me about what the fuck I'm putting in my body? Shut the fuck up. I just said, motherfucker. God damn. Motherfucker liquor. That's my motherfucker. Tell everybody that shit ever again. Motherfucker, you ain't supposed to get it for the car. You entering the fucking, you don't put the money in the goddamn bar. You talking huh? about the fucking. You don't you put the money in that bar. What up, Brittany? What up, Nate? What up, for Free Blue? You could throw shit out there. You lay it up there. Listen. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No. Man, give us one more time so we can roll up and out of this thing. Yeah. Put your little baby bass to bed. Let's see. I need one go in now. Man, you gotta go in. You gotta do shit. Yeah. Oh, if there are any people outside, how do you distinguish that you are in a black community? How what? You know, how you know you're in a black community if there's nobody outside? Nigga, do you think I live in a black community? Nigga, what is that shit? Well, I'm asking you a question. Do I live in a black community? No. How the hell do I live in a black community? No. How do I live in a black community? You mean you live in a mixed community. It's not black. It's there's a lot of black families out there. I said it's mixed, motherfucker. But there's a lot of black families out there. How do you know, if you go to any town, how do you know you're in a black community? Answer that. You can, was, you can separate. I would say You can separate I, I, a black I'm about, community. To, I'm about to tell you, uh, how many liquor stores I see, there you go. how close they are, mm-hmm. how many churches I see. Um, There's a reason behind that question. But why? Why? Why are there so many liquor stores in our community? Yeah, well, well, well I'm just saying, you go to any city, you can distinguish between communities. Even if. I'm going to tell you this, I'm going to tell you this, and this happened to real shit. When mm-hmm. I moved to Minneapolis, I was in the heart of the hood. Mm-hmm. I didn't know I was in the heart of the hood. Because these people had, there was these houses. Huh. And like, so where I was like, where, you know, I'm used to projects, you know, apartments and, you know, all this, they had these houses. And they look decent, and they look decent, and then it'd be like two blocks of these houses, and then it'd be like two blocks of bomb ass houses, and two blocks of like some back to these normal houses. So hell no, I was on the north side of Minneapolis, mm-hmm. and did not know I was in the hood at all. They had no look stores anywhere. Not where I was. They did, but not where I was. What? So like, okay, I was on because they, see, for Wayne, the for Wayne, the neighborhoods look nice. If, if everybody go in, in, inside in Fort Wayne, neighborhoods look nice. I'm not used to this. Where I'm from, project, broken glass, all kind of shit. But I know I'm in the hood because there's a liquor store down there in the vicinity of everywhere you go. Like where you stay, you got to go way down here, hit here, and here. It's like three blocks. You know, goddamn right. Shit. And then they're building one right down the street from my house. I'm just saying, right now. You gotta go over hill, hill, and then you gotta cross over to get to a liquor store. In the black community, just on Anthony alone is is about three. Okay, you be fun. From, from your house to your li- the closest liquor store is the same distance from my house to the. Get the fuck up out of here! I swear to God, man, whatever. From that cat, from that Captain Court, Belmont. That's, right that's what I'm talking about. 
You know what Capricorn? Belmont. The, what Belmont? It's a Belmont right here. You right there on where the light at? Yeah, that's Belmont. Right. right. That's the Belmont. same distance from here to Come on, man. You got to go around here, <laughs> here, go here, go across. And yeah, now, I you can go and look for a mile or something, but you're talking about just river stones, you go right here at Walmart. We're talking about pretty little stones. Captain Coy, you got to go across. I'm just saying, from oh. the, the, the same distance. The same no, distance. it's not. Okay. You got to go past here, you got to cross the lights, then you got to go over here to look stuff. So, I got to leave out of your audition, hit a light, go to the light. No, well, no, no, okay, no, I'm gonna hit no, 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 you got hit, you got hit one light, which is a light, and then you got hit another light, uh, a light, and this right there, and then that's hit another light. light, no, that is another well, light, the, wall, the, the light where the dominoes no. is, yeah, that's another light, okay, three light, but okay. yeah, it's a straight shot, Thank you. so you were wrong, huh, huh, you were wrong, huh, okay, three shots, three lights, Really, I don't even count the first light because you can make a right without that light. But you st it's still a light. I mean, I'm, 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 but it's three light, but it's straight shot. You you come out of audition, hit right there. Okay, and then straight I, shot. I, I'm audition, you're going to make a left. No, no, oh yeah. Then you go straight. You're going to go straight, light. You're going to make a left. You're going to make a right. No, you're going to go down and make a right. No, I, that was the way I was just saying. I'm saying, you come out just right, left, right. No, no you don't no, go down, no. goddamn. <laughs> you don't go goddamn down. Like, go through, go through some shit. Yeah, There's some more lights. Yeah, the, then you got to cross over. Then you got to make a right. Then motherfucker over there. Same distance, buddy. No, it's not. That's yeah. right. You got to go down. And then you just go like your dick. You got to go down to the light. Make a left. I'm on the main drag. I'm really, I can but, see that. It don't matter. You feel like those okay. right it doesn't matter. Let me ask you this. It doesn't matter. Would you, 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 you walk to that one or will you walk to the one by your house? Shit, the same distance. Shit, goddamn light, man. Anyway, you know, I would say liquor stores and churches. But but why is it that you can distinguish a black community in almost any? I city? think I, I hate I, I like don't get me wrong. I'm I believe in God. I believe in spirituality, religion. But I feel like a lot of our religion in uh, black churches take advantage of the people. I don't care about the churches. Let's, you you went on. I don't care about the church. The reason we set up like that. And I was reading some is uh, we are set up to be in poverty. We we set up. I was reading a long time ago. Eight percent of black people in poverty will make it out and be a millionaire. Eight percent, right? That's why I come up with that that question. Cause it's like in the black community they got liquor stores on them in every corner. You know, just, well, they just have you some uh, smoke for less around here. Like check cashing places. Just, it's like it, it, it mess with your mentality. That shit, I'm gonna work, get off, get my liquor, go home, or you know what I'm saying. In other communities, they keep the liquor away, so you ain't gotta be thinking about. It. Even though people gonna drive to get it, it just you try to get that mentality that you know what I'm saying. You know the the living and you know family and all that. And black communities, chaos and all that other stuff. Cause let's say Anthony, you got one. Two, three, four. Four, four. Look, so just on straight up Anthony alone. You'd be five. You'd be five. Party. No, you got Belmont up there. Well, I'm thinking I'm partying. No, let's go okay, up there. I'll be a mile south. You don't tell me where the fuck to go. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, Party. McKinney. Pontiac. M oh, what? McKinney. McKinney. Pontiac. Then go up north. Queens. Wait, 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 no. Go right up north. Across Crescent. Anthony and Crescent. Yeah, it's Crescent. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Anthony? Yeah. They just rebuilt it. They built the next dome. Okay, yep. Anthony and Crescent. Yeah. And then that's where it ends on Anthony. It's four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're it right. used to be five where Target used to be. They used to be a, a Captain Court. When they took Target down, they used to be a Captain Court next door to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that was gone for a long time. It don't matter. It used to be fast. But that's been gone forever. You can't really count that. I said, motherfucker, I said, used to be, motherfucker. Listen to me. What I'm saying, that's on one strip. One motherfucker. That's a long ass strip, too, though. It don't matter. It don't matter. I didn't say. But it, like in the white community, you might have one, and then for miles away, you might have another. So, like, all right, for my edition, I got. 
Maysville, Georgetown. Ho, 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 what's on Maysville? We got Capricorn on Maysville. Yeah, Georgetown, Capricorn. Then I got SMV right here on Maple Crest. What? You talking about far though? No, it's not. Dude, it's far. Come on, where's my crib? Fuck about it. That's far. Now, I, I'll give you one by your dish over here, Capricorn. That's and then, closer. And then there's then you're another, going way down. That's far. There's far. another one by that Kroger's. Going back by my house. Them, them, them miles. Motherfucker. Them miles. Fuck out of here. I'm just saying, like, I got... I'm not, I'm not, not agreeing with you. I was just counting how many liquor stores I had with them that I actually, that I actually go to. Okay, but the miles away. Most of these, I'm talking about, are in walking distance of the black community. Yeah. Like, I agree, agree with you. you. I was counting how many liquor stores I had that was within the facility that I'm driving to. If you don't do all that, we can count on motherfuckers more than this. But I was just going on one strip. They used to have stands. Stands sell liquor. They closed it down. Nah. Well, since when? Uh, about a couple months ago, now. I thought that, my dude was just having a party here a couple weeks ago, didn't he? No, Science closed down. What's the little bar next to Science then? That, it was the bar. Uh oh. Uh uh. Now they had after I was at the old Grand Salon down the street. No, no, no. He said it was at Science. Science closed down. They were talking about out here they're gonna make it to a tire place. That's crazy. Yeah. Is that where he's place back open? I don't know. I've never been there. You never been to that Ruby place? Cell food place you know what I'm talking about? Man, that lady used that lady used to feed you good. No, no, no. They used to have one on Pontiac too. Where? On Pontiac and like Lily. They said that now. But anyways. It's like we you know, one more game. We are section off to lose. We are very we are rezoned rezoned. But even uh, if you think about the white ghetto, you don't see the stories over there like that. I know that. We are zoned up. We are, as I'm reading this up, and this black woman was talking about how um, how communities are zoned up, especially in a black community. We are set up to lose. Even though we make money and stuff like that, but we are, like, if people want to be entrepreneurs and stuff, even though I'm, okay, I, I want to be, but we don't know what to get into. I'm not saying yes or no to this. Okay, wait. I, I got a sub con. I got a sub. Go ahead. Go ahead. Like the Black Lives Matter lady. When, uh, she spent like six million on houses and shit. Six million and she paid her brother like a million. She paid yeah, her baby yeah, daddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And she, okay. And did you hear what she said? She's like, it's not like we knew how to spend this money. Hmm? It's not like I knew who I could pay. So I know that part. I ain't read it all. Oh, yeah. That, that, that pissed me the fuck off. Because it's not like you put the money back in the Ferguson. I like you put the money back in the Minneapolis. It's so not like you put any programs together that was, you know, training videos for cops did, or did anything. Did she get in trouble for you today? Oh, yeah, man, she's about to lose the whole... Black Lives Matter movement is about to... She's going to lose it. Because mm -hmm. she has... She has where she... This is her first 1099 ever. This is her first 1099? Ever. Like I told you, I, I wasn't behind it from the jump because it, they was... They was... They was I wasn't behind it at all. They was, they was, they didn't use the money to help the community. Ain't my about that. It was like the agenda to push. You worry about the cops killing us. We should be worried about each other killing us. Like I say, it's multiple. Uh, I'm not, we're not gonna go. I, I know we're, that, but what I'm saying that when we get a week of all of us. No, no, but let, let, let me say, let's have that conversation. Yeah, we can have it now. Well, I mean, we can have it then now. But what I'm saying is, up, you? you, you put, you, you brought her ass up. I wasn't, I wasn't behind it because. And I, we talked about this before on a couple part of that, but we we should care when a little pookie kill a little dookie. That should be an issue too. But when mm -hmm. I when a motherfucker kill me that's been trained and we pay their salary, and they then I don't know. I've been but, ha I've had my ass beat by the cops a couple times. But this is so right. I, I feel and I feel different than. But but yeah, but this is not. You small and black. I'm big and black. They get intimidated from me real quick. This is, my point is when we police ourselves and we complain. That each one of us stop uh, killing us, and then we can take to a bigger stage. And this is I'm telling you. But, but uh, the, oh, I had an argument. I had a conversation with white folks itself. I'm not saying white, white folks kill more white I, folks than I, white. I, I'm not, listen, I'm not knocking that. Hear me out. This is a, it's coming out the white community. It was like this is the problem they had with black last night. You worried about the police killing y'all, but you ain't worried about y'all killing each other. That was their argument. 
or why they had a pushback about, about Black Lives Matter. I don't give a damn about that argument. I, okay, but my point that is... That argument doesn't even make sense to even talk what? about. It does. Look. That don't fucking make sense. You heard about the police killer. Okay, why does why why does that even why does that even have any validation of who killed who? Well, all that matters is a life that lost. Like well, all these right. white motherfuckers, all these white, all these white people killing each other. They don't got a problem with it because it's not rich white people killing each other. It's the broke motherfuckers oh, killing each you other. Know, I'm finna tell you why. I'm finna tell you why. Because the media is pushing black on black crime. Even though whites kill each other, it's not in the news like black or black crime. Understand that. that. Okay, that's that's the reason why. Okay, but this is why I'm, I'm saying that's yeah. why what they when they came with their whole opinion about Black Lives Matter, that shit didn't even have no effect. But on. what I'm saying is when white folks say... Well, you got to tell me, I have a friend, I have a black friend. Listen, you no, don't even we, we listen, don't understand the same thing. Listen, white people scared of us, not because of what they see on in the media. It's not about us. White folks scared of us because of what they say on TV. It's not about... You just said the same thing. I know that, motherfucker. I'm going to keep saying it because I'm drinking. Okay. And I want to get through your thick ass cold. Because you just said I don't agree with some shit. But it's the media pushing a narrative. And when you got fear, it make money for somebody. So with these mass shootings, who the fuck is this making money for? These white people just keep telling all these just, black people. You just jumped on. Something. No, I'm just saying. You just said that. I, I just, said, okay, I just okay. gave you a sub. Okay, okay, okay. So the Buffalo okay. shooting. Okay, okay. Did, okay. Did, did you see what you. just happened today? The Texas shooting? No, I don't watch the news. Man, I'm gonna tell you who that make. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna tell you who make money for. This shit disgusting. I'm gonna tell you who make money for. You know what? Because the mass shooting. Listen to me. The mass shooting. Okay, well, he shot. We need to get more guns. They let you know. The uh, you know what I'm saying? We need more guns on the street to protect from the mass shootings. So we need to sell more guns. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. Ever since that Buffalo shit, right. every time I went in the store, I didn't carry my shit on. But well, hold up, you just asked who made more money? NRA, because now they there's fear in 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 um in the census. Okay, well it's a mass shooting. Well, if people had more guns, it could protect them. It less people would have died. So we need more guns on the street. But I'm just saying. Oh, you're, I'm you're, right, you're right. You're right. But this one I'm just saying. It's like it's it's to the point of who agenda is, is this? What, what's the agenda? In our I mean the guns, <coughs> the mass shootings, NRAs. Well, I'm just it's saying NRAs because they the one motherfucker gonna make the most money by producing more guns, putting them on the fucking street. He was only 18 years old. Yeah. And the dude that shot the day, he went to an elementary school. He was 18. Yes. Killed 14 people. Okay. One, well, 14 kids and one teacher. So fear, okay, out of fear, somebody making money, which is the gun manufacturers. Okay. You could put shit on goddamn flip. Gun manufacturers. Fuck, quit doing that. Gun, because <laughs> you're climbing. I always put, I locked my door last motherfucking time before you left. NRA, the main fact is making the most money. I'll be mad too. And then, uh, another thing too, oh, yeah. like the uh, I know we got like, to uh, we got to hey, roll up out of here, fellas. Uh, team. Yeah, but, we're uh, going too. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think because we went too far on the goddamn NBA at the beginning. No, we did. We talked this, for like thirty-five minutes it's about the podcast. We ain't got. I'm just saying. It, it's not that. I'm just saying that's why our time is so long. I'm trying to know why. I'm trying to know. You feel good. You feel good, man. You feel good, man. You done put your motherfucker finger on your nose, motherfucker. I ain't putting it on my nose, nigga. But, um. Fuck you talking about. You ain't cut off like you did last time. You wanted your motherfucker feeling this week. No, I ain't. So we good. He wanted to feel it. He didn't feel it. Look, you cut off slow as fuck. Fast as fuck last week. I need another hoe. You keep arguing this shit. Oh, motherfucker, no. You like, I need another hoe. They talk about shit. Hey, you too. Fuck this. Yeah, I mean, I didn't my brother. What about her? Oh, you know, you know, like, she already told me. You know, like, you know, like, I'm the only whore around here. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know. No. No. I think it's just Wait, she do. Three already told me before she got here. She's going to argue with me. So I, I was going to argue. got to do with me? Motherfucker, you talking about you cut out because we argue. My brother, that was going to happen anyway. 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 Fuck you talking about? For anybody that has a, uh, you know, formula shortage, you can go to Amazon. A what? Chain, you know how they got the formula shortage right now. Oh. Go change your shit from USA to Canada. 
they are fully stocked and they can send that shit to you next day. We're the only fucking country with a formula shortage for no fucking apparent reason. Is it cost more? No. It was, uh... What about shipping a hammer? I don't look at that. But if you can't get no goddamn formula, you gotta pay whatever you gotta pay, motherfucker. I don't know. I got no goddamn. You gave me all them extra goddamn shit. I, 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 I was I, trying to give them another way to get money. They give it all to them. That's what I'm saying. They don't ask for this shit. They don't ask. They asked me shit. I gave them the information. Okay, they said go to Canada. Go to Amazon. Motherfucker, that change that, it from the U.S. Say to Canada. Okay, but online they want to know ten million and all that. What shit? Okay, then motherfucker, you give me information. Most motherfucker want all the information. Okay, well I gave them what I had. Shit. All you gonna say? I don't know, but sometimes and when you go trade it to Mexico. And buy it in pesos and get it cheaper. I do know that. Did they see well, it? I, I see a lot of times through Amazon, you buy so much, Shipman Ham be free. Oh, so. Well, if you got Prime, I think it's free. Is Prime free yeah. in Canada? But, but everybody ain't got Prime. Prime is free regardless of where you ship from. Well, shit. Then it, but then everybody as long as you got Prime, you're okay. If you ain't got Prime, I order your shit. Just give me the money. Okay, and how much is Prime per month? I think I paid $9 or so. Okay, it changed. But you also get to uh, you get the music with that. You get the I TV know, with I, that. I, I have prime with I'm... Okay, well, I'm just saying, don't make it seem like I'm just paying some shit I ain't supposed to be paying. Already. What? Nothing. Never mind. This is three the hard way. Yeah. A long day. My man's got to go to work. See this funky motherfucker later. He took all day. I was not late. We had no set time. Motherfucker, we we supposed to talk. I said Tuesday. You walked your funky ass out. I said Tuesday. I will be here to do the okay, podcast. Okay, motherfucker. But like I said, this is three. We ain't never did it this late. You know what? And it worked out. They ain't my fucking point, motherfucker. Oh, well. It, no. we, had a, we had a good flow. Because of me. Yeah, because of you. Good. Because I came with the question. I came with it. I, and I didn't. You <laughs> fucking I came with the question. I'm out. That was an alpha male before right now. Let me fuck up. I don't be around these.